What's up, y'all? I just had a moment. I wanted to step outside for a minute. It's beautiful outside. Um, but, you know, you hear people talk about if you're, if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to get in shape, um, wherever you are in your journey, you got to learn to love your body wherever you are. You got to love yourself every step of the journey. And I think a lot of people confuse that statement and they almost feel like it's an impossible feat because if you're unhappy with your appearance, you know, how can you love yourself where you are? It doesn't mean that you accept that you're going to look like that and you just, well, you love yourself, so why would you want to change? It's not about that. It's about embracing where you are right now and accepting that that is where you are right now. It doesn't mean that that's where you're going to be always. It just means that that's where you are right now. You accept your limitations. You also accept and embrace what you can do. You push yourself to other limits. You know, one of the cool things about lifting weights is that there is tangible progress to be seen. When we are in the gym and we're working out and we're trying to lose weight, you know, we're not always going to lose weight. The scale's not always going to move. We're not always going to lose inches. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on that necessarily you're not going to be able to see so much every day. But when you lift weights, there's a tangible act of picking up a heavier weight. You can do that whether your body is visibly changing from the outside or not. You fall in love with that process of getting stronger along the way and really fall in love with what your body is able to do. One of the easiest things to do is right now, if you're unhappy with your body, is do your best to try to step outside your comfort zone. What that means is go out, buy yourself a piece of clothing. I don't care what it is, something bright, something fun, and just embrace that wild and crazy side of yourself, you know? Like if you're used to just wearing black and, you know, basic boring clothing, I mean, not necessarily boring, there's nothing wrong with that, but do something steps out of your comfort zone. Buy something pretty. This is speaking to girls. I don't know. Maybe guys, you want to buy something pretty for yourself. That's fine too. But this speaks to like going out and doing something to treat yourself to reward yourself. A lot of people will say, sorry, I was being called, um, but a lot of people will say they don't want to buy anything until they get to the size that they want to be in. But y'all, there's a lot of good that can come psychologically from doing things to treat yourself like that. We'll say, we're, we, you know, I'm going to treat myself. But if you're treating yourself with food that's not necessarily doing you any favors to get you closer to your goal... Um, you know, you're not, did you really reward yourself? You know, I'm a big fan of you are not a dog. Do not reward yourself with food. Um, sorry, I'm sweaty. <laughs> I've been practicing on some Zumba choreography. But, you know, treat yourself, treat your body, reward your body, and embrace the changes that have happened. Because um, that's going to get you one step closer to actually making, falling in love with your body where you are now. Loving yourself, pouring that love onto yourself and accepting and embracing where you are right now. It's not meaning that it's always going to be the way that you are. Because if you think about it in a marriage, you love your spouse, you accept that your spouse is probably going to change. Hopefully you do. Uh, but that's, you know, it's all part of it. You love them where they are today and embrace, you know, their challenges and embrace their difficulties and their, their flaws and warts and all, as they say. But really, you got to love your body, treat yourself something new, go out. If you're, if you're working hard, reward yourself with those kind of things. Step outside your comfort zone and really put yourself out there. All right. Peace.